I know there's quite a few of you asked me for some more videos of my anger um, so I'm going to do it in sections and I'm, today I'm going to deal with this corner of the room and um, this is the Vile Monocoupe which I've uh, recently completed uh, it's a beautiful little model and I'm so pleased I did it in red and black it's a really vintage scheme as well and hanging on the wall behind there is the uh, Thomas More Scout and that was built from a Grillo's kit and uh, it's one of the original kits where you have to cut the parts out and you can pick these up quite cheaply now as well or well, cutting parts out is no problem I've been doing it for over 60 years so why should I bother now to bother with laser parts anyway there she is and I say the Beely Monocoupe it's made a short flight and it looks very very promising now down here on the uh, on the front here on the bench is the Firefly that I've just completed I just put the roundels on it actually and next to it is the Orca Tempest 5, Orca Tempest Mark 5. This is the inline engine version, and they did the radial engine version, which is the Orca Tempest 2. Okay, and straight above there is the model which I'm going to start painting very, very soon. It's the uh, Dragon Rapide, and this is going to be painted as an RAF Domini in the RAF navigation trainer and radio trainer scheme as well. And up on the wall up there is the Dornier DO-355, the feel, which was also built from, uh, I think that must have been a West Wings kit, that's right, a West Wings kit that was, and that's been converted for radio, and it's all ready for test flying when we get some decent weather. I'll swing round onto this wall here, and we've got a little model I designed there called the Mud Hopper, very, very simple frame model, and it literally flies in any conditions, <laughs> mud, rain, anything. It's absolutely ideal. And there's the good old Pico stick, which I've modified and rebuilt many, many times with different motors. Good little flyers just to pick up and fly when you feel like it. And next to there is a scaled up uh, Frog Tomtit. The Frog Tomtit was originally a, rad uh, a rubber powered model, and I've made this double scale radio version of it as well. And here's the Sukhoi, which I built recently as well. And that is powered with. Uh, some sort of jet motors which I can't get my hands on at the moment. And down below is here is the Botha, Blackburn Botha. My father flew Blackburn Bothers, a uh, notorious airplane for uh, fires, engine fires. Not the RAF's best machine, but nevertheless a part of RAF aviation history. So there you are, that's uh, a little portion of the room. I think it's probably the best way to do it actually is to do it in sections rather than sort of try and cover the room in one because there's so many models in my little museum here which I do call it a museum because it's literally an history of flight in itself and they're all being uh, reproduced as models as well and what better way could you do to remember some of these wonderful old aircraft which we'll never see in the skies again okay so that's part one I shall be doing another one soon so I hope you enjoy that anyway thank you